My name's Ash and I'm a final year medical student, soon to be doctor and also podcaster on a mission to inspire the future of healthcare. So that last part there, inspiring the future of healthcare is something I get asked a lot. What does that mean? So here's a story to break down my perspective and the origins of my mission. Inspiring the future of healthcare has become increasingly more difficult. Professional burnout is at an all-time high. Job satisfaction is plummeting and the current healthcare system is crumbling. So I think it's time that we face a stark reality and that is our medical schools are failing us. For too long, mediocrity in healthcare isn't just accepted, but I think it's actually celebrated. The path of least resistance is often discussed amongst med students. What's the bare minimum that I can do to just pass my exams. Beyond that, nothing else really matters. And can you blame them? In a profession where lives hang in the balance, is just enough really enough? And then on the opposite end, we have a toxic perfectionist mindset amongst those high achieving medical students who really go above and beyond just for a competitive academic portfolio. So on one end of the spectrum, we have one type of student that's okay just doing the bare minimum. And then on the opposite end of the spectrum, we have another type of student that has been grinding away because of extrinsic factors to outcompete their peers. In both cases, the problem is that neither person is passionate. There are no intrinsic factors that are motivating students to want to do well and genuinely be the best doctor they can to their patients. And I think that this loss of passion is what's led to decreased job satisfaction and ultimately the current doctor strikes that we're seeing around the UK today. And of course, I'm not denying that there are political and economic factors at play here. I think these factors have only just accelerated a need for doctors to speak up sooner. The real problem starts at medical school. Medical schools are failing us. We enter medical school with tons of excitement and energy, but the problem is by the time we leave, medical school has sucked any ounce of passion out of us. And of course, this isn't to scrutinize the individual champions, the medical school faculty who I know go above and beyond. But the truth is in a system that isn't built for us to thrive, even their best intentions can only help us to survive. Here's the truth. I think that as humans, we're naturally creative. We have this inbuilt survival instinct to want to think outside the box and to solve problems. But this natural creativity is stifled in medical school. Somewhere the fact that medicine is an art has been lost. In the opening paragraph of the Oxford Clinical handbook of medicine it reads medicine is an exercise of our imagination we enter another person's suffering to end it this is the essence of medicine right it's a creative art that requires imagination the power of empathy allows us to yearn and struggle tap into our imaginations to find new solutions yet our education system is teaching us to treat symptoms and not patients we're memorizing textbooks with the goal to just pass our exams slowly losing our innate creativity and passion in the process. So what's the fix? Well, I think we need to rediscover this creativity. Medical schools need to embrace a new way of teaching and a new way of assessing. We should be encouraged to engage in extracurricular activities and interests beyond just medicine. It's all about embracing portfolio careers and encouraging doctors to find their fulfillment. If you consider the likes of Eric Topol, Dr. Karan Rajan, even my dad, he's a top leading head and neck surgeon in London. They've all found their creative passion within medicine. And the key word here is passion. And this passion is what's stopping them from burning out. They love what they do and they serve the healthcare system as extraordinary clinicians. But it's okay if your passion lies elsewhere. I'm not telling you to stop becoming obsessed with medicine. That's not the fix here. The fix is encouraging our doctors to find their creative outlet. This creative passion will lead to fulfillment and turning mediocrity into excellence amongst our clinical workforce. But it starts with a mindset shift. Today, let's challenge the status quo. Think beyond boundaries. And together we can start to fix this fundamentally broken healthcare system one step at a time. It all starts by just spending 30 minutes a day following curiosity. You'll soon find your creative passion when that 30 minutes a day turns into an hour without you even realizing. So when I say I'm on a mission to inspire the future of healthcare, It really means that I just want doctors and health professionals to live more fulfilled and happier lives. Please make sure you check out my podcast, Health Beyond Tomorrow, where I talk about all things health technology, innovation and entrepreneurship. Make sure you hit that follow button and see you soon.